Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the laws of Shabbos, the 39 malachas, the 39 prohibited actions that we're not allowed to do on Shabbos, and ra- rounding off the malacha of Bishal of cooking today. Uh, cooking in the way that we've been describing so far. And a very interesting malacha, a very interesting um, type of action that we're speaking about over here. And besides the fact that there is something called Bishel called cooking, uh, many authorities maintain that along with the cooking prohibition that you do, there's also something called Maka Bepatish, which means striking the final blow, which means that if you bring a food item to its state of completion through any process, even without the use of heat, that's called Maka Bepatish, striking, striking the final blow, and that would also represent a, an issue in this realm of cooking and of finishing off a product. And therefore he writes like this, If there is a very salty food that cannot be eaten at all, nobody would be able to eat this food unless it was first rinsed off, even with cold water. Meaning the w- rinsing off all this saltiness from the food is what makes it palatable for you to eat. Therefore, says the kids are also You're not allowed to rinse it off on Shabbos. even in cold water. Can okay, I just keep this in mind? This is the opinion of the kids of Shulchan Aruch. We're going to see shortly in the Mishnah Brewer. However, v'dag maluach herring, salty fish, which is known as herring. You are allowed to soak it in cold water. Why? Because even before you soak it, it's already fit for consumption. People can eat it. It is salty herring, but it's not salty beyond belief that you can't even take a bite. You could take a bite. Now, the Mishnah Brewer writes over here the following that this halacha of makam patish, of striking the final blow, which means finishing a, completing a process, or bringing some, a food item over here to the state of complete process, does not apply to food. It only applies to other activities and actions that you do. And therefore the Mishabur writes that you could, you could soak or you could rinse any food item in cold water, even if you wouldn't eat it previously, because there's no such prohibition of maka the patish of the final striking the final blow. However, if the only way to eat this food, which is too salty right now, it has to be rinsed in hot water, that's what makes it edible, then rinsing it in any hot water, even from a cliche to the second vessel, that would be a violation of Bishel, and that you would not be allowed to do. So you have a machlik, because you have an argument between the Kitzah Shulchan Aruch and the Mishnah Brewer, and that is that the Kitzah holds Maka Mepatish, striking the final blow, applies to food. The Mishnah Brewer holds that it does not apply to food, and whereas the Kitzah holds you can't even rinse it in cold water, the Mishnah Brewer holds you could rinse it in cold water, only in hot water is going to be an issue, even in a cliche a second vessel, because that itself is going to constitute the malacha of Bishal of cooking. Have a wonderful day.